assalamu alaikum and welcome to the doctor uut lectures in today's tutorial we will talk about uh, the sex determination and uh, we will answer the question that is who is responsible for the gender of a newborn baby male or female and uh, before i move towards the explanation i would love to answer here that the female is responsible for the newborn baby means the newborn baby whether it will be a girl or a boy the responsible is the female she is going to select your newborn baby how like very simple i am going to tell you people this entire discussion regarding a scientific research according to this scientific research i will make people understand that why the female is responsible so let's start the scientific research in a very simple language consider we have a farmer and uh, here we have 1 2 3 4 lanes or fields in which this farmer is supposed to sow or you can say plant these seeds in these fields or in these lanes and uh, we all know that it is very really simple and well known fact that if you take the same kind of seeds and if you plant these seeds in different fields or in different lanes they will grow in different ways and the same is the case with us consider this farmer as uh, a male and uh, these fields as a female now this male is having two types of seeds noun is sperms okay and now these seeds are actually of uh, two types and uh, the number of these two seeds are actually somehow equally distributed if uh, this type seeds are 20 so this type seeds will be 19 means there is a difference of 1 or 0.5 between these two types of seeds so now if this person is uh, sowing or planting the seeds in this field the result will be of one kind and if this person is planting the seed in this field then uh, the result will be of different type and the same is the case with other fields means the result will be of different types now what is the logic behind regarding human beings suppose this is the first wife of this person this is the second third and fourth now when this person is ejaculating in this first wife she is giving birth to females only and when the same person is ejaculating sperms in his second wife she is giving birth to boys and when the same person is ejaculating in his third wife she is giving birth to both the boys and the girls and when the same person is ejaculating in the fourth wife she does not give birth to any neither boy nor a girl now what is the logic behind this case it is very important case and this is a very different case and we are supposed to concentrate this case because often times we observe that a person is having one wife when there is just one wife then that person is supposed to check himself also if there is just one wife and if this person is having four wives then uh, it's obvious that uh, this one is not okay means this female has some problems well anyway if uh, a person is having just one wife then they both should test themselves regarding these uh, germ cells okay they both must test their sperms and eggs that who is uh, having the particular problem well now let's understand the logic behind why is it so why this one is giving just birth to the females why the second one is giving birth to the just male and why the third one is giving birth to both the male and female now what is the logic behind very simple according to science research it is believed that these female you know they are having the eggs and these eggs are actually releasing some chemicals noun is chemoattractant now these chemicals are going to attract these uh, germ cells in some females that chemical is only attracting one type of germ cells from these two types so if a female is attracting only female germ cells then this female will give birth to the baby girl now the case is the same for the second wife also and this wife the egg of this wife is actually releasing the chemical and that chemical is actually attracting only one kind that is for the baby boy one so she will give birth to baby boy because she has attracted only the boy type germ cell and regarding the third case the egg of this third wife that is releasing the chemoattractant and that chemoattractant chemicals are sometimes attracting the germ cells for the boy sometimes for the girl so when she is receiving the germ cells for the boy she will give birth to baby boy and when she is attracting the germ cells for the girl so she will automatically give birth to the girl so just this one it's 
egg is releasing the chemo attractant which is sometimes attracting the girls one sometimes attracting the boys type germ cells from the husband and this is how the females are becoming the responsible for the gender of the new burn baby now what is the solution behind this fact what could be the very solution the very solution is that we have treatment for this case we can treat this means we can take particular type of the germ cells and we can inject that into the female womb and then we could have what we want if you want boy girl or any means we can have a choice and the very next uh, solution is that a person can have different fields or different lanes means a person can marry one two three four wives it is allowed for a male to marry more than one and uh, the very next solution for this particular type of illness of brain is that one should uh, just keep patience and pray to almighty allah whatever allah is gifting to the particular person that particular person must accept whatever is given to him from the side of almighty allah that is okay and beneficial for that person and such kind of people those who believe in allah and those who are trying their best to practice islam they are actually the real human and remember one very important point that this entire procedure entire mechanism or this entire process is not in the control of female this is an internal work and natural process that is being done by the order of allah the almighty hope so you got my words thank you for watching allah hafiz